Hey, what's up, guys? It is Nathan Harmon here, and uh, I just wanted to jump on here and to begin to talk uh, about Bridge the Gap quickly. And some of you may not even know what Bridge the Gap is, and well, because we really didn't try to promote it, and we didn't try to do a lot of marketing and bring awareness to it, we we just began to really say, God, what are you doing? And, and so what Bridge the Gap is, is this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday, but starting Thursday night, but really, um, we're going to be in Ava, Missouri, uh, and it's just a bunch of God's people, a bunch of full Bible believers getting together um, and seeking God's face. Uh, really, it's the focus, which is just that bridging the gap from our head to our heart, bridging the gap from some of the the caverns and maybe the the miscommunications in our family, bridging the gap in our community and ultimately bridging the gap as being people who walk in spirit and truth, being people who walk with this full Bible understanding that from Genesis to Revelation, what would it look like if we begin to invade cities and just to be the light to the world and, and to do evangelism and discipleship and all kinds of things. But I just wanted to jump on here for some of you that, um, I don't know. I, I know Thursday evening is when we begin here in Ava, Missouri. And so technology is going to be minimalized. We're not going to be streaming live. We're going to encourage people to not um, allow the technological piece of their own cell phones, their devices and all these things that contend for our time and our attention to kind of really put them down. And what would it look like for, for, for just God's people to get together and to press in and to seek his face? I know for some of you that may understand this rhythm, we're in the middle of counting um, the Omer from Passover to the Feast of Pentecost, of that when you read in the book of Acts and it says when the day of Pentecost had fully came, there was a day of count, there was a, a daily counting that would happen from the Feast of First Fruits up to Pentecost Shavuot when the Holy Spirit fell. And so we're right in the middle of this time period and a bunch of people, there's a couple hundred of us that I know that are coming, they're going to be gathering there in Ava, Missouri. People were coming from, I mean, Kentucky and Tennessee and Texas and Oklahoma, North Dakota, South Dakota, I believe Michigan. There's a lot of people in the area that are coming and I think there's more coming. But but again, the intentional and the intentionality of this was, you know, not to, to make a big initiative of bringing awareness and promoting it, but really just saying, God, we're, we feel you're trying to get us together and to seek and to press in. And there, there'll be people, um, some other ministry leaders that you probably w know quite well that you don't know they're even coming because we haven't really talked about it or shared it. It's just literally been like, God, I want, we prayerfully want you to be the author and the finisher. We want you to be the one that draws people to this. And some of you could be like, well, Nathan, you're talking about it now and it's before the event. Well, it's in Missouri. And so this is kind of like two, three days away and it's a two and a half, three day event. You don't have to come and to be a part of the entire thing. You can come for just a day. You can come for just a session. Um, but I just wanted to talk just a little bit about it, begin to prepare our hearts that we're gathering in Ava, Missouri. It's totally free. It's at a campground there at the Frox Trotter campground. Um, uh, camping is the only thing that's going to cost you and, and you feeding yourself. But the, the gathering, the, the meetings, it's totally, totally free. There's some local hotels in the area. There's a, a link that I'll put down in the comments called Bridge the Gap that you can kind of see. Um, and it's going to be powerful. It's going to be a really, really powerful time. We, we believe that the Father's doing something special. And so, yeah, I just wanted to give you just a little bit of a framework. Um, it'll be a really important time. There'll be a few people that you you may know. I know Eddie Chumney is going to be sharing a little bit for, at there. He, he's moved to the Missouri area, so we wanted him to come and to get involved in the community. Um, Pastor Matthew Miller um, from the, the Vineyard out in eastern Tennessee, uh, he's going to be coming and, and sharing, and, and he's been a, became a dear brother to mine. And, and, and Pastor Tom, who's the evangelist, the evangelist pastor at the Vineyard, that he does a lot of the teaching and the preaching at the tents with me when we travel and take this tent all across the country he'll be there i'm going to be sharing some and and we're having a bunch of different your worship teams and again there will be people there that most of you will probably recognize um that god may be uh they're going to be part of ministry leaders that we're just trying to get god's people together and and drowning out all of the distractions and drowning out all of the other methods of how do we do an event? I, I don't care anymore about building. I don't want to build another ministry. I don't want to build another initiative. I don't want to build another event, another promotional thing. Like, 
I just, and this is me speaking, right? Of just really pressing in. And, and even here lately, me and my family, we've been really kind of drawn back a little bit, just trying to listen. Um, drowning out every other noise, every other voice, just so we can really hear the heart and the rhythm of the heart of the Father. Because you know and I know and we know right now, uh, man, as we look around in the world and we look around a lot of the chaoticness and all these things that seem to be colliding perfectly, we have to be able to hear his voice. We have to be able to really be willing um, to, to lay it down and to press in so we can have a, a deep confidence, a deep strength in him, that we don't follow our eyes. We don't follow um, the, the rhythms and the heartbeats of what the culture's doing, but we press into the heart of Abba. And so Bridge the Gap is that. Um, if you come, expect to have lots of worship, a lot of prayer time, a lot of opportunities, um, maybe to, to kind of grow in some of the spiritual gifts that you feel the Father may have put inside of you. Um, we're going to we're believe in the Father to do some amazing things. Um, there'll be outreach. We're going to send outreach communities. We're going to go out into the city there in Ava and pray for people and come back and have stories and to testify of what God was doing and, and just beginning this piece of activation. For the last two years, my family and I have been doing tent meetings all across the country with a big white tent, preaching the gospel of the kingdom from Genesis to Revelation, preaching the importance of walking by the spirit, but also walking with obedience to the truth, doing Bible things in Bible ways and, and really walking out with what I call, and I'm going to teach on it this week, an experiential obedience. And I think it's, it's something that for many of us that maybe are full Bible believers, we haven't quite locked into our hearts that experiential obedience is what the heart of the father's after he doesn't want blind just i'm god your man shut up and do what i say and i know that's been said you know that at the mountain of mount sinai god spoke and god was said, all that you said we will do it's called shema hear and do like don't question don't have any opinions just blindly follow him and and yes there is a time for radical instant obedience but that's not what happened at mount sinai it wasn't just a bunch of people that blindly were smacked with this God called Yahweh and that they were willing to forsake it all. They had just experienced him delivering them from Egypt. They have experienced him assassinating every other false God through the 10 judgments and the plagues. They had saw that his hand was real. He was mighty. He was powerful. He was compassionate. He was the God that saw them. And so when he brought them to the base of that mountain, he said, basically, listen, will you be my people? I bore you on eagle wings. I, I, I want you. I want to use you to show. I, I've made promises to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, to the offspring. And they, they, they literally could reflect back on what God had done in their life. And they said, then all that you say and all that you ask, we will do. It was experiential obedience. And it changed them. And for me, as I've been following and walking with the heart of the Father, and as I've been trying to do Bible things and Bible ways and not dividing up the word from the old and the new, but looking at this book as one document of a love story to you and to me, and to realizing that God has purpose and plans and a destiny, I want to experience God in the middle of it. I want to find him in the middle of everything that he asks me to do um, because he wants to have relationship with me. And so, listen, on May 19th, the 20th, the 21st, and the 22nd, we're going to be in Ava, Missouri. And this is three days out. So I don't, I have total peace that this isn't me trying to, you know, put the promotional and get the word out and the awareness. Man, you may be watching this from literally California, Oregon, Massachusetts, and be like, man, God just pricked my spirit. I need to go. You have three days. And so there was no preparation. This literally has to be a moment where God says, yes, go, and I'm going. It'll be powerful. I believe it'll be life-changing for some of you. I, I have confidence in what God's been doing. So be blessed. If you're coming to Bridge the Gap and you're watching this, go ahead and share this video and uh, just, just kick this out for this last 72-hour you know, precursor before it happens. Hundreds of us are going to be there. We've got a lot of cool, I, I feel like, moments. And we have a prayer team and that we've been really pressing in. People are beginning to fast. We're beginning to say, you know what, God, what happens? We drowned out distractions. We drowned out all the, the complications and make it the main thing, which is the main thing. Holy Spirit, you're the author. You're the finisher. You are the promoter. You are the advertiser. You alone draw the hearts of people. And so that's what we have done. And so I love you. I bless you guys, man. I'll put the comment, the link in the comments below. 
but we will be gathering in Ava. Bridge the gap. Uh, if you click the link, there'll be a, a lineup of kind of what the, the plans and, and the, the schedules, which is very loosely put together. We'll be absolutely steering the ship of this gathering of people. Um, schedules don't really matter. It gives us direction. You can kind of get the heartbeat of what we are trying to walk into. Um, and we just would love to have you come be a part. So be blessed. I love you guys. And for many of you, I will be seeing you here in the next few days in Ava, Missouri. Check the link in the comments. God bless you.